Oke, datang untuk malam. Datang. A cylindrical tank. A cylindrical tank of three meter height. A cylindrical tank of three meter height and five centimeter square cross section area and five centimeter square cross section area is filled with is filled with water up to water up to two meter two meter and remaining with an oil and remaining with an oil of specific gravity of specific gravity 0 0.8 0.8 first off the vessel is open to atmosphere the vessel is open to atmosphere calculate calculate first bit of the palm gaze and absolute pressure intensity gaze and absolute pressure intensity at the interface gaze and absolute pressure intensity at the interface second bit gaze and absolute pressure intensity gaze and absolute pressure intensity at the base of the tank at the base of the tank in terms of pascal in terms of pascal head of water head of water and head of oil third bit head of oil third bit calculate the net force experience the net force experience by the base of tank due to the gauge pressure due to the gauge pressure full stop take p atmospheric take p atmospheric 1.0132 bar 1.0132 bar that's all This is the case. So the gauge pressure at the interface is seven eight four eight. Seven eight four eight Pascal. And for the absolute values, we can add the atmospheric pressure. So the absolute values 
So this is pig is oil. <coughs> it will remain constant throughout the water here. This is pig is water. So what is the gauge pressure at the base? 27468 Pascal, yes in terms of Pascal. What is the water head? Huh? For this gauge value? Hmm, 2.8 meter of water. For this gauge value, gauge pressure at the base, the water head will be 2.8 meter. Simply equate this pressure to Rho of water into G into H of water, we will get the H of water. Similarly, equate this pressure to the Rho of oil into G into H of oil, you will get the head of oil. Okay, so here head of oil is 3.5 meter. Head of oil is 3.5 meter. It's two seven four six eight. Force is thirteen point seven three four Newton. Atmosphere से हम्म तो डेप में तो पैसे इंक्रीज करेगा ना तो नेगेटिव कैसे हो जाएगा नेगेटिव गैस का मतलब है कि मैं किसी बोतल में आपके वाटर है उसमें से एयर रिमूव कर दूं तो एटमॉस्फेयर से कम प्रेशर हो गया उसके सरफेस पे तो एटमॉस्फेयर से लो है डेप्थ में जा रहे हैं उसका सेंस डेप्थ से नहीं है व्हाट इज द प्रेशर एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर एट द बेस इट्स 128793 पास्कल इन टर्म्स ऑफ मीटर ऑफ हाइट मीटर ऑफ हाइट दिस इज मीटर ऑफ वाटर 13.128 and in terms of oil this is 16.410 
first of all find out the gauge pressure of the oil at the interface okay that is rho of oil into g into h of oil that is 1 meter okay this pressure remains constant throughout the water this value is this one then by the simple use of rho g h you can find out the gauge pressure at the base of the tank due to the water only this value and both the gauge values that is due to the oil and water will provide the gauge pressure at the base of the tank दोनों से हम्म वर्ड आंसर आंसर है सबका नेक्स्ट स्टार्ट करें हेड ऑफ एंड फॉर गेज और एब्सलूट For gauge the value is 2.8 meter and the oil head is 3.5 meter. Force is 13.734 newton. This is only due to the gauge pressure at the base. Hmm. Simply the gauge pressure into area. So can you? Okay, that next side on pressure measurement. Pressure measurement. Pressure measurement. Side on pressure measurement by any technique. pressure measurement by any technique by any technique is essentially based on is essentially based on based on the following proportions the following proportions first one it will follow it will follow the pascal's law it will follow the pascal's law second it will follow it will follow the hydrostatic law it will follow the hydro static law third the pressure is not affected by the pressure is not affected by the boundaries the boundaries of the container or vessel pressure is not affected by the boundary or vessel okay last time i think we discussed that is pressure is not affected by the area but the pressure force is affected by this one clear next i don't manometers are used manometers are used no carry on next paragraph manometers are used for pressure measurement for pressure measurement by by balancing balancing the column of liquids by balancing the column of liquids against the pressure against the pressure for stop manometers may be vertical may be vertical inclined inclined open and differential and differential 
first off manometers can be used to measure manometers can be used to measure atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure in bracket you can write barometer barometer is an instrument specially used for the atmospheric pressure measurement so always barometer readings are the atmospheric pressure readings okay atmospheric pressure absolute pressure absolute pressure comma absolute pressure absolute pressure comma gauge pressure vacuum pressure differential pressure etc okay so let's start and our first instrument or first manometer or simplest instrument is piezometer that on piezometer p i e z o m e t e r piezometer okay let's take a look here piezometer is simple glass tube it's a transparent glass tube open from both side okay And there are some markings here for the measurement. It's a very simple instrument. Now, let's suppose there is a tank here. And a pipe is connected to this tank. And the one end we attach of this piece of metal we attached to the pipe. Okay. Let's suppose there is some level of water here, or some fluid. Okay. Now, when we connect this piezometer to this pipe, obviously the level of the water is going to be rise in the tube here, and obviously this level will be exactly to the level of tank. Okay. Now. Let's suppose this is the center of the pipeline. So I think the another way will look like this one. If you are saying this is the cross section of the pipe, so this is our piezometer. So we are saying this is the center of the pipe, and I am saying this is the gauge point. Gauge point is the point where we want to measure the pressure here. Okay, now the level is up to this point. Obviously, in this case, if I am interested to calculate the pressure at the point A, we'll simply measure the height of the liquid from this point A. We know the density of this fluid. We can simply say that this is rho g h a. The simplest way. So we are saying this pressure P A. Is the pressure at the point A? So this is gauge pressure or atmospheric pressure or absolute? Why gauge? So because atmospheric pressure is reference. At this point, what is the pressure? Here, atmospheric. So means atmospheric is balanced here. Okay, so the difference value is what? the gauge value and in this case i am i think i am saying this is the pressure at this point also yes, at the same level here so we are saying this is h a so let if we can't see the tank and we can't see what is the level in the tank then i think by attaching the piezometer to this pipe we can directly tell what is the height of the liquid in the tank 
by measuring this height. Okay, लेकिन problem हो बहुत सारे हमारे पास में like let's suppose a tank is overhead okay and there there is a pipe here at the ground and we connect a piece of metal to the pipe what is the, what is the level of the water in the tank let's suppose we are i'm saying let's suppose this is at 20 meter from the ground level then i think we have the piece of metal of height uh, let's suppose 1 meter bhi aapke paas height nahi hogi piece of metal ki okay it's around 250 cm or something so obviously we can't measure that pressure kyunki uske isme aapka kya hai there is no free surface of the liquid in the piezometer because in the tank the water level is around 20 meter so obviously is case mein kya hoga aapka isse bahar nikal jayega so we can't measure the height so means first problem is piezometer can't be used to measure the excess pressure that is the first problem second let's suppose in this tank the pressure is vacuum pressure okay that is negative gauge now if you attach the piezometer to this pipe then i think the air will start to rush in the tube here because inside the tank or pipe the pressure is less than atmosphere so atmospheric air will be passed through rush through the tube here so again there is no free surface of the liquid in the tube so we can't measure the vacuum pressure by the use of piezometer this is the second problem now let's suppose if i'm saying some gaseous fluid is flowing in the pipe Like some LPG, or you have hold it, or you have made it try it. That your pressure is how much? So obviously this is a gaseous fluid. The gaseous fluid doesn't maintain the free surface. Okay, it will move through the tube into the atmosphere. So again, we can't measure the pressure of the gaseous fluid. So there are so many problems, but this is the basic instrument we are saying here. Clear? Write down in the piezometer. Draw these two diagrams. Run. Write down. Piezometer. Piezometer is a straight, transparent glass tube. Is a straight, transparent glass tube. whose both ends are open whose both ends are open first stop to measure the pressure to measure the pressure by the use of by the use of piezometer one end of it one end of it is attached is attached to the gauge point to the gauge point and back it you can write where the pressure has to be measured Pressure has to be measured. Very right, close. Gauge point, and by and by calculating the height, by calculating the height of free surface from gauge point, and by the use of hydrostatic law. and by the use of hydrostatic law we can calculate the pressure that is simply you can write pa equals to rho g h a done then i don't demerits of piezometer demerits of piezometer
Arrow first one. Piezometer can't be used. Piezometer can't be used to measure to measure excess pressure from atmosphere. Excess pressure from atmosphere. Second, piezometer can't be used. Piezometer can't be used to measure to measure vacuum pressure. To measure vacuum pressure. Third one, piezometer can't be used. Piezometer can't be used to measure to measure the pressure of gaseous fluids. To measure pressure of gaseous fluids because because yes, gaseous fluids doesn't maintain free surface. Gaseous fluids doesn't maintain free surface. Clear? Chalik problem dekhte. So three types of liquid here. Then three tubes are connected here. Let's suppose I am saying this is A, B and C. C tube, there is C type of fluid. In the B tube, there is a B type of fluid. And the A tube is A type of fluid. You have to calculate the height of liquids in this tube. Specific gravity is also given. You have to calculate H A, H B and H C. So what is H A? 1.5 meter. H B? 
B is 3.25 meter and C is 5.425. Hmm, so, why the atmospheric pressure is always calculated at the sea level? You notice kya hoga na? Sea level, railway station you notice kya hoga? Ah, samudra tal se unchai. क्यों ऐसा क्यों करते हैं फोर पॉइंट नो सो एच ए इज वन पॉइंट फाइव नो पॉलम आई थिंक हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एच बी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट द प्रेसर डू टू दिस ऑयल एंड दिस ऑयल एट हियर Okay, obviously the pressure at this point and this point will be same. But in this tube, there is only this fluid. Okay, so first of all, calculate the pressure due to this oil and this oil or this fluid. Then equate this pressure to the rho of this fluid into G and simply Hb. Because the total pressure is balanced by this single fluid in this tube, you will get the height. Okay, so H A is 1.5, H B is 3.5, 3.25, and H C is 5.425. Okay, in case of H C, this fluid, this black fluid, is balancing all this pressure here. So simply find out the pressure at the base and equate this pressure to the rho of this fluid into G into H C. We get the value of H C here. Done. What the answer? Now, let this tank is closed. Okay. And here, I am saying the pressure is hundred kilopascal. This is gauge pressure, positive. Then what is the change in H A, H B, and H C? Yes, fifteen point H A. Fifteen point zero nine. What is H B? Fifteen point zero nine. Come over. ये 15 आ रही है फोर्टीन आ रही है कोई बड़ी बात नहीं हो भी सकता है फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सिक्स लेट से एच सी How much? Fifteen point bus. क्या पता? Fifteen point six two. Then so क्यों ना परम ठीक है? What answer? कुछ नहीं करना आपको सिंपली प्रेसर इसमें ऐड करना है टोटल प्रेसर को आपके पास सिंपली इस लिक्विड के कॉलम के इक्वल बैलेंस करना है वी गेट दिस हाइट देन दिस प्रेसर देन ड्यू टू दिस वन एंड ड्यू टू दिस वन दिस इज द प्रेसर हियर यू हैव टू बैलेंस दिस प्रेसर अगेंस्ट दिस कॉलम एस सिमिलर फॉर दिस थर्ड केस ओके लेट दिस इज नेगेटिव टेन किलो पास्कल That is better. You have to just find out for ten kilopascal what will be the height of this liquid for ten kilopascal, and simply find out the height and subtract that height from this height, and then solve the problem. Point one three nine is the 
height or this one h a okay because it is a suction press or negative press it will try to increase the height of this red liquid it is holding some height so find out what is the height that is it is holding against it then subtract the height from the red liquid height then calculate the values so in case pair of meter this if this is minus pressure here ye kuch aisa dikhai dega okay the height in this tube will be less than this one because this extra height is balanced by this negative pressure so actual balance is this one Point point one four meter two point one two meter H A H A na you asking for H A what is H A point one four meter two point one one meter hmm so every tube is maintaining low balance here. Okay, do this negative pressure. Four point four. Let's see. Because this pressure you have, this whole liquid is the same. क्योंकि ये वैल्यू नहीं कर रहा हाइट वाइज दिस इज नेगेटिव ये जो हाइट कम होगी सब लिक्विड्स की कम होगी हां क्योंकि वो सबको एज करेगा उसके इसमें और उसके अंदर डोलमेंट हो जाएगा ये मैंने कहा कि माइनस 10 में अप्लाई करने के बाद में ये कंडीशंस है ये कुछ ऐसा शो कर रहे हैं हाइट्स सबकी जो हाइट डिफरेंस है सब में से कम होगा देखो एक्चुअली अगर ऐसे बात करता कि पहले मैं फिल करता फिर मैं पैसे कम करता प्रॉब्लम क्या होती ये राइज करता ये भी राइज करता ये रस के तो ये वाला फ्लूइड इस पर अंदर जाता तो मैंने कहा कि मैंने नेगेटिव प्रेशर स्वाद से मेंटेन रखा मैंने कहा दिस इज द फाइनल स्टेट ओके दिस इज द फाइनल कंडीशन नाउ टेल मी द हाइट सो ऑब्वियसली विल डिफरेंशिएट ओनली दिस हाइट हियर देन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यूज हम्म हम्म एटमॉस्फेयर प्रेशर को नेट क्यों किया क्या हम सेम वाले द प्रेशर माइनस टेन ओके डूड दिस वन इट इज इंक्रीजिंग सम हाइट हियर व्हाट इज द प्रेशर हियर व्हाट इज द प्रेशर हियर Tube is open to atmosphere. What is the pressure? Mm -hmm. I am not arguing. Those are atmosphere. I am catching out. Kadiya. Atmospheric. Atmospheric. Approach. Height minus. Kadiya. Look. Here the pressure is negative pressure. So due to the negative pressure, it will try to suck the fluid in the upward direction. So this negative pressure plus this height will create atmospheric pressure. Minus 10 is the value. This value is also plus 10. This is creating plus 10 pressure. So minus 10 is here. This is plus 10. What is here? Zero. So means actually atmospheric pressure is here. That's why first I will calculate how much height is required to create 10 kilopascal of this liquid. Then simply subtract that height from this liquid. Now I know here it is the atmospheric pressure. 
Yes. What is SP? 2.117. Hmm. वही तो मैंने कहा ना ये फाइनल स्टेट है हाँ ठीक है मुझे पता है आपके दिमाग में आ रहा होगा सो so, अगर आपने रात को बाइक बाहर खड़ी की है गलती से बारिश हो गई और टैंक लीक कर रहा है कि कैप सो ऑब्वियसली टैंक के अंदर जब वाटर जाएगा ऑब्वियसली पेट्रोल इज दैट फ्लूड वाटर इज हेवी फ्लूड वाटर डाउन साइड होगा पेट्रोल ऊपर की तरफ होगा ओके सो द मीटर रीडिंग Fuel reading, it will show higher because it is completely based on the height of the petrol. But below is the water, above it is petrol, so it is showing the tank is full. But tank is not full. There is water inside the tank. A bike start करने try करेंगे सबसे पहले आपके पास pipe में क्या जाएगा? So tank full है bike start नहीं होगी. So bike बाहर नहीं खड़ी करनी है बारिश का time है ठीक है? चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं. YouTube barometer. So we will try to eliminate all the problems that we face in the piezometer. Next item, YouTube manometer. YouTube manometer. Right now, it is a transparent glass tube. It is a transparent glass tube. Bent in U shape. Bent in U shape. Full stop. Both initially, initially, both the ends, both the ends are open to atmosphere. Are open to atmosphere. Full stop. The level of the manometric fluid, the level of the manometric fluid will be same, will be same in both the limbs, in both the limbs. Okay, so this is the initial condition. Manometric is a fluid that is used in the manometers, like thermometric fluid used in the thermometers. So we are saying it is a transparent glass tube bent in U shape. And initially, both the ends are open to atmosphere. So, when we fill the manometric fluid in this one, initially, so the level of the liquids will be same in both the limbs. Okay, here the pressure is P A T M. This is also P A T M. We know. All the properties of this manometric fluid. Okay, so this is the initial condition. This is the initial state we are saying here. Can you understand first? Bike start me. Bike ready? 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 WM is the specific weight of manometric fluid. Okay, is the property of fluid here? Okay, let's suppose if I am saying this is mercury. Okay, if I fill the water at this side, that up to this point. In that case, I think. The left hand limb mercury level is going down here, and right hand limb mercury level is going up here. So that I am saying, around here, here it is up to this point. It is water here. And I am saying this is 10.33 meter. 
There's a rise of mercury here. So can you tell me this value? This is 760 mm. Okay. So we are saying this is 760 mm of this is water. So I told you that manometry is working completely on the balancing of liquid columns. Okay. So in this case, at the same level, same pressure. Here, the 10.33 meter of water column is completely balanced by the 760 mm of mercury column. So this is based on the balancing system. Again, when we mark the level, in that case, for that level, the liquid must be continuous. Like in this case, when I mark the level here, I am taking there is a mercury here. Like this. Let's suppose if you are marking a level here. And you are saying at the same level the pressure will be same. You can see here, there is some pressure here. Here the pressure is zero. Gaze ki baat kar log. There is also atmospheric. Okay. So this is some gauge value here. But where the gauge value is? Zero. So obviously we are not saying correct here. We are not marking the correct level here. Because these are two different liquids. Liquid is not continuous here. So when you are marking the level, in that case the level will be such that there is liquid will be continuous here. Single liquid. Okay. Ye dhala gala aapko. Chali, if we start with case 1. Case 1. Measurement of measurement of positive gauge pressure. Measurement of positive gauge pressure. Now let this is our YouTube manometer. Okay. And let's suppose initially the level of the manometric fluid was here and both the ends are open to atmosphere. Okay. But now I am connecting this one with some gauge point. This is the cross section of a pipe. That A is the gauge point. Obviously, this pipe is connected to some tank. Okay, and there is some level of the liquid in the tank. So we are measuring what is the pressure at that point A here as the center line of the pipe here. So obviously, if I can calculate this value P here. What is the PA here? Then I can easily tell you how much height the liquid having above the point A in the tank. Okay, by the use of rho GX. So obviously in this case, I told you that initially the level of the magnetic fluid was here, but now as pressure the point A is positive gaze, then I think the left side liquid is going down here because here the pressure is more, and this is going up here. So now the condition is like this. It's like this, and there is some flowing fluid or containing fluid in this pipe or container. Let's suppose the specific weight of this one is W1, and this center line height is H1. And for this one, this is specific weight is W of manometric fluid, and this height is HM. Okay, these are the initial level 1 dash, 2 dash is the final condition. Okay, now here is the atmospheric pressure. So, according to this one, I am saying there is P1 dash will be equal to P2 dash. Same level, same pressure. Okay, so what is P1 dash? P1 
पी ए यहां पर कुछ प्रेशर है हमारे पास में सो पी ए नाउ वी आर मूविंग डाउन एट द लिक्विड सो प्रेशर इंक्रीज इज यर फ्लूड इज डब्ल्यू वन एच वन नाउ वी आर एट द वन डैस ओके पी टू डैस वाई पी ए टी एम वाट इज पी ए गेज दिस इज गेज वैल्यू नॉट एप श्यूर वैल्यू ओके सो दिस इज नो पी एटीएम हियर दिस इज डब्ल्यू एम इन टू एच एम सो वी कैन से दर इज पी ए प्लस डब्ल्यू वन एच वन इक्व टू डब्ल्यू एम सो पी ए विल बी माइनस डब्ल्यू वन क्या करते वैल्यू आपको कई लोग कंफ्यूज हो रहे हैं कि पी एटीएम क्यों नहीं एड किया गया ओके लेट्स टेक लुक किया and let here we are connecting this piezometer that here i'm connecting at the center line suppose up to this point is fluid in this tank okay i'm saying up to this point let's suppose i'm saying from this point this height of fluid is h that the center point is a point okay i'm saying this is h a let here the pressure on the tank is PATM. Okay, now this is the case here. Okay, and we are saying this is HM, and this is H1. Okay, this is W of W, so W of this one. This is W one. Can you tell me what is P A? I think this is W one capital H A. This W one capital H is gauge or uh, absolute? Okay. If I am writing the equation of the A point like this, that is P atmospheric plus P A plus W one H one, then I will write that is P two dash will be equal to P A T M plus W one H one. Clear? Because here is also. और क्लियर इसलिए मैंने स्पेशली मेंशन किया था दैट इज पी एज पॉजिटिव गेज वैल्यू क्लियर
पीएटीएम समझा सुना दिया मुझे क्या बोलो पीएटीएम हाँ डायरेक्ट नहीं कैंसिल आउट हो रहा था दोनों साइड से हाँ कैंसिल ना हो ऐसा क्यों होगा धरती पे हर जगह पी एटमोस्फेयर प्रेशर है अगर नहीं हुआ तो प्रॉब्लम है तो ऐसा धरती पे कोई एग्जांपल नहीं है सॉरी लास्ट केस में मैंने आपको बोला था व्हेन बताया नेगेटिव प्रेशर हियर सो लेयर में कुछ लेयर आने के बाद में वहां पे प्रेशर क्या होता है आपके पास पी एटमोस्फेयर तो कंडीशन हम ऐसा एग्जिस्ट करेंगे डन determine determine the pressure of water the pressure of water in the pipeline in the pipeline if the difference in level if the difference in level of mercury of mercury in the limb of youtube in the limb of youtube is 10 cm is 10 cm and and the free surface of mercury the free surface of mercury is in level is in level with the center of pipe with the center of pipe full stop if the pressure of water in the pipeline if the pressure of water in the pipeline reduces reduces to to 10 kilo pascal 10 kilo pascal calculate the new difference calculate the new difference in the level of mercury take specific weight of water take specific weight of water 10 kilo newton per meter cube 10 kilo newton per meter cube obviously here we are taking the value of w is 10000 and we know the actual value is 9810 so obviously in this numerical you will use g equals to 10 okay yahan pe aap g ki value 10 use karenge टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर यूनिट्स लिखो इस देश में सबनेम की बहुत वैल्यू बता रहा हूं मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर हाँ सबनेम चेंज बहुत कुछ हो जाता है
One two six, yes, it's twelve point six kilopascal. And this to Michael is saying the free surface of Mercury. Just a minute. Is in the orbit, the center of the pipeline. Free surface of Mercury is in center with the level is in the center with the pipeline, center of the pipeline. So first we have to calculate the value of PA. In this case, I think H1 and HM are same. 10 centimeter. So tell me the first the value of PA. Hmm, it's 12.6 kilopascal. Hmm, 12.6 kilopascal. No difference. No difference is 8.156 centimeter. No, cross check, cross check, rubber. First, the value differ because I am not out of the value. Okay, no problem. Zero point? No level defense. No. So eight point zero something. Hmm. Eight point zero nine something which value you Eight point one five seven is my value. One five six. Hmm. सोचो बैलेंस करो इसको थर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इज द ओनली डेंसिटी मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन एक जीवन लगा आपने हम्म हम्म होना चाहिए चीज़ रोन टू जी हम करें इसको रोजी इंटरनल ट्रेन स्पॉन माइनस टू हम्म ठीक है चेक करो अब टेन का डिफरेंस आ गया ना तो नहीं है पीए के लिए आ रही है 
इनिशियल प्रेशर इस वैल्यू सो दिस इज पी ए प्लस दिस इज डब्ल्यू इज टेन इंटू टेन एस पावर थ्री इंटू पॉइंट वन इक्वल्स टू थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस पावर फोर थ्री सॉरी फोर 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 इंटू पॉइंट वन दैट इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स वन थर्टी सिक्स में से हंड्रेड माइनस करना पड़ेंगे सो ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स हो तो क्या ये थ्री सिक्सटी नहीं होगा ओके सो पी एज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स किलो पास करो ओके नाउ वी आर सेइंग इन द सेकंड बिट द प्रेशर द पॉइंट ए इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज अप टू टेन किलो पास कर सो ये द प्रेशर रिड्यूसेस If here the pressure reduces, in that case this level is going to be increase here. This is going to decrease here. Then I am saying this increment is. If this is ten ten initially centimeter. Then suppose this is up to this point. This is x increment here. So this is x decrement in this one. Okay. So the new level is here. So the new level difference in the mercury is from here to. I think this is ten minus two x. And in this case, the water level is ten minus x. Okay. From here, find out the value of x. Ten minus two x will be the new level difference. Eight point one five six centimeter. So for this case, we can add the equation that this new pressure is PA dash plus W of water multiplied by point one minus point zero one x. X को भी मीटर में कन्वर्ट कर दिया है. But here x itself is in centimeter. X into ten to power minus two. Okay, so x is in centimeter here, but the whole value is in meter. This is equals to W of mercury multiplied by point one minus point zero two x. P A dash is ten kilo pascal. So from here, when you calculate the value of x, that x value will be in centimeter. So how much is x here? One point zero six centimeter. So the new difference in the mercury is ten minus two x. One point zero six. Sir, we point nine something which value? Point nine. Two two centimeter. So ten minus two x is eight point zero something. This value is how much? Eight point one five seven. Check. But the make calculation is okay. Check. Let's break. Let's break. Then we'll come back.